Both Metroid Fusion and Metroid Dread see Samus getting chased around by unbeatable enemies. She can sometimes delay them enough to get away, but until she gets some upgrades, they're not getting hurt much. The music in these two games take different approaches in conveying that anxiety that comes with having to run away and hide. In this video, I'd like to do a little compare and contrast. No real spoilers for either game here, but nowadays people consider like knowing Samus is a girl to be like a spoiler, everyone's hypersensitive to it. So watch the video if you want, don't watch the video if you don't want, but if you don't want to watch it, maybe leave it on and walk away so I still get that nice watch time. Throughout Metroid Fusion, aka Metroid 4, Samus is hunted down by SAX, a weird clone of her that is really an ex-parasite. Throughout Metroid Dread, aka Metroid 5, Samus is hunted down by the extraplanetary multi-form mobile identifier robots, lovingly known as Emmy robots. There are a few main musical themes associated with each, but we'll just be covering the ones that play when Samus is being hunted down or chased. In Fusion, we have the SAX Appears theme, which plays when SAX is around and searching for Samus, but not actively chasing her. We also have the SAX Chase theme, which, yeah, it's, it's chasing music. In Dread, we have the Emmy Patrol theme, which is basically Dread and the Emmy's equivalent to the SAX Appears theme in terms of when it plays. The Emmy Search theme, which plays when the Emmy bots get a lead on Samus, but still aren't 100% sure where she is and the Emmy Chase theme, which, yeah, you know when this plays. So basically, Fusion and Dread have two tracks that play in similar scenarios, and Dread adds in one extra one in the middle there. The SAX Appears theme features background drones and a heartbeat-like percussive element, and that's basically it. If you listen closely, though, you can hear that the droning is impacted by the percussion. When the percussion sounds, you can also hear the drone lower in overall sound. Music producers use similar techniques all the time, with something called side chaining. Basically, if I have a compressor on a drum, it will prevent that drum from getting too loud. But with side chaining, I can instead have that compressor react to the drum volume, but affect the volume of some other instrument. Here's a quick example. I just went on that tangent because it shows how this theme gets a lot of mileage out of what is basically just a few seconds looped over and over again. The main idea is to present anxiety in a musical way. By having only two elements, and by having them so closely linked with that technique I just talked about, it really gets you to focus in on the mood it's trying to convey. Within the context, the drone makes me feel like Samus hiding and staying still enough to not attract attention, like the drone itself, and the percussion gives off the sense of a heartbeat. Let's jump over to Dread's equivalent track, the Emmy Patrol theme. This one has much more going on. There's some droning again reflecting the environment, the Emmy looking around but not actively pursuing, lots of robot sounding bleeps and bloops, and a sonar-like sound reminiscent of some sci-fi robot tracking system, which, yeah, is appropriate. So in Dread, the music seems to be representing Emmy, whereas in Fusion, the music seems to be more representative of Samus herself. Dread's search theme, which again doesn't have an equivalent in Fusion, serves as an in-between step. It's similar to the patrol music in many ways, but adds some percussive activity, which we'll hear much more of in the chase theme. But before we get to that, let's hop back over to Fusion. The SAX Chase theme, similarly to the Appears theme, is a very short musical idea looped over and over. It features a ton of minor seconds, which, long story short, 
are notes right next to each other in a scale. These are famous for evoking anxiety, and I think this guy has a lot to do with it. That part of the Jaws theme was just two notes right next to each other over and over again. Again, this music and fusion seems more out of control, with those intervals, the rapid percussion accompanying them, and the accented lower notes. Like it's from Samus's perspective of being the hunted, instead of SAX's perspective of being the hunter. Let's contrast that with Dredd's Emmy Chase music. So much about this theme is straight up robotic percussion. The first few seconds are like haunted beep boops. That kind of sound continues throughout, like some haunted version of the old AOL dial-up internet sounds if you're old enough to remember those glory days. Even those droning notes in the background that change every once in a while? Honestly, they remind me of machines that drone on while they're running, like my computer's fan changing sound based on how hard I'm pushing the CPU. On the whole, it sounds frantic and appropriate for chase music, but it also feels tame at the same time. It doesn't have that kind of melodic element that gives it a fearful sense our ears can easily latch onto. It just sounds frantic, and in context that would make you anxious as you're controlling Samus, but listening outside of the game, it doesn't sound as much like fear because it lacks that in-your-face melody. Like, if you were going to sing Fusion's theme, you would go, but here, there's nothing like that at the forefront to sing along with, unless you sing along with robot noises like... So all in all, I'd say Fusion's music makes me feel a bit more like I'm in Samus's shoes, or suit, I guess, while Dreads seems to be more about the overall situation with Emmy than Samus herself. That's how I hear it, at least. Maybe you hear it differently. That's okay. We're all different, and we all come together to make a big, beautiful rainbow.